We found the entrance to the underground communications of the Chernobyl power unit. First, we want to go there on boats to explore it. And then dive to the lower floor in a homemade scuba gear from the aquarium. Everything works, there is no water inside. Damn, he's completely immersed. Zeus, watch out! Be careful! Take your seat and let's get started. We're moving smoothly, the war is so big, the boat needs to be leveled. Yeah, the tunnels go in different directions. Wow, this is some kind of a system. We are in a labyrinth. This is amazing, there is a huge underground labyrinth here. We are in the right address. This is where we need. Wow, it's a cool maze. There was no one here before us. Whoever we ask, no one knows what awaits us here. How are we going to navigate? Where are we going? Right or left? Let's go straight to the end first. Let's find out what is there. The current is already taking us somewhere. Look over there. How many years ago were these channels flooded? For some time they wanted to restore this power plant and the water was pumped out and everything was in order here. Then at one point they were flooded. Around the beginning of the 90s, nobody has entered these tunnels for 30 years. Also here it seems someone was there, because they tried to cut the metal, but the floor below no one has been there at all. Is there another floor below us? Yes, there is another floor below us. This is the coolest thing, Zeus will check out what's on the bottom floor. Wow, we came a long way already. Look, again it goes to the right and here to the left. Be careful, there is a metal. Well, the funny thing is that no one has a map of this place. I want to see what's here. Well, there is another floor up here. Do you at least roughly know which direction we need to go? Somewhere over there, but it's not certain. All right, let's go this way. Guys, how are we doing there at the back? The boat seems to be deflating. Find a place from its leaking, I will give you a tape to stick it over there. Well, you also have a hole in the boat. Where? Susa so, so will give you the tape, can you stick it now? So here's the tape, let's see if it helps. Zeus, take it. Well, guys, we have a hole in the boat and it's under the water, but we took a special repair tape, which is waterproof. Let's see if it helps us. It's not sticking under the water? No, it's not. We need to dry the boat and then stick it. Well, need to pump up the boat. You too, keep an eye on the boat and just pump it if it needed. Well, attach it. Where to attach it? Just fix it at the back of the boat. Okay, let's attach it over there. I can't believe there is another floor downstairs. I wonder what's there. I hope this expedition will end normally for us, because all the boats are punctured and we are all stressed. I'm very nervous, but I think we'll find something interesting in this tunnel. Are you ready to drown if something goes wrong? No. Can you connect the air pump so that I can pump up the boat? Yes, come backwards with the nozzle side. Yes, the boat, it has deflated a bit. You're right. I'm plugging in. Are you ready to pump it up? Come on, do it. I'm ready. Carefully, the tube can come out. Everything looks good, keep going. I didn't expect that there would be so many parting here. You can easily get lost. Look, the radiation will peel off my skin. We're sailing under the reactor of the Chernobyl power plant. It's a nightmare. What are we doing, huh? Comrade, are you alive? It seems so. Catch the rope! We got amazing sailors with us. There is something there. Guys, be careful because there are a lot of fittings underwater. The guys are in panic, see what's going on. It's time to get the chainsaw. 
Now the Federans are right on the course. Look, there is a rod here that blocks our way. Push it away. What? Try to push it. It's quite firm. Was a depth. Maybe I'll get down. I'll check it with the paddle. Just like at the beginning. Is it enough for me to stand? Yes, and you lift our boat a little. Look, there is a metal road right in the center of the tunnel. It's really hindering us. Now Sus will try to push our boat through it. You that we took some chemical protection suit. Sus, can you lift the boat a little, but carefully? <laughs> Try to shake it or pull it out. I can't. Is it firmly placed? Yes. Let me go and see what's there. No need, there will be another turn. Well, there's a man painted on the wall. A man? Yes. Come on, try to lift it up a bit. No, I can't. Guys, you're first now. Yes. What are you doing? What's happening? We pierced the boat. Stop! Damn, the boat is pierced. Accident! Accident, guys! I'll try to paste over the tape. Why the hell did they hand it there? I don't know. The boat is hissing, it's deflating. <laughs> Our boat is fine. Come on, stick it. It doesn't stick at all. Do you know what I suggest? Hold it with finger. Let's change places with one of you. Someone will close it with a finger and someone will sometimes pump up the boat. Yeah, sounds good. Let me see the air alone. Is it deflating badly? Yes. Where? Try to cover it with finger. My ass is already wet. It's sinking. Hook it well to this boat. And keep pumping up. You have got a pump. Where's the pump? Guys, it's going down. Are you holding with your finger? Yes, and water, listen to this. In panic, guys. Friends, the Chernobyl zone doesn't give us the opportunity to properly explore these communications. We are coast once, we have already pierced two boats, we're only 10 minutes on the water and we have already pierced two boats. Guys, please close the valve for us. Did you just open the valve? Look, the air comes out through these hoods. <laughs> Don't yell. Listen, take it and puppet your boat. Look, there is an exit and remember this place we passed it. Right to the center. Who wants to get out of here? No need to get down. He won't get down, he fall. <laughs> the exit here, of course, is huge. Everything will be fine, pump up the boat. I don't want to die here. Tell me how is the expedition going and why are you behaving so emotionally? Because our boat is punctured and my balls are already frozen, understood? Where is the water? Show me! What do you mean? Here we have a puncture, we need to pump up the boat. There is no water in the boat, the bottom is dry, what are you thinking of? You're sitting on a boat and I'm like... All good guys, the expedition is going well, we've already explored several tunnels, so let's continue. Okay, whatever you say, let's continue. How to continue? There are only wires and there is no passage. Rather it is, but small. We have to turn around. The main part of the tunnel is there. Where? Oh, there. We should go straight. Look, there is a pack of electrodes. Do you think there were mariners or not? Is this all groundwater? Yes. How does water react with radiation? Does it mask the radiation? Yes, it does. Is the radiation all at the bottom? Yes. So we are sailing across the pressurized doors. This is probably the exit to the stairs. There is the same entrance as we entered. Just on the other side of the tunnel. So are we going there? Let's go to the main tunnel. There are a huge number of corridors under this reactor. We need to find a descent to the floor below. That is where all tests our scuba gears. And scuba gear will go to the fourth power unit? Yes, and scuba gear will cross the part of the tunnel, which is completely fluted, and will live somewhere near the fourth power unit. Guys, you have probably noticed that I began to use the new dosimeter spectrometer radio code 101 on a scintillation crystal. It's more than 20 times faster than conventional dosimeter on the gadget tubes. 
It is able to measure radiation at every point, even while running. You can record radioactive tracks on Google Maps. And the most amazing thing, it can identify types of radioactive elements. The device works up to 20 days on one battery charge. Just put the radio code 101 in your pocket or bag and carry it with you at all the times. If you find yourself in an area with radiation, the device will give a vibration and a sound signal. The body of the dosimeter has good dust and moisture protection. It has a cool mobile app for smartphones and a program for the computer. I will attach a link to this device in the description. Is it ours? Yes. What is it? It's from the flashlight. You sunk my flashlight? Take it. What are you doing? Tell my flashlight. It's already barely shining. At least it's working. You are crazy. Well, there are some hooks on the ceilings. I think that is better not to use such index bows for our future explorations. I think we should take a tarpaulin for them. Or completely inflate and cover them with tape. Here, look, another huge corridor. As I understand it, this is the main direction of the basement. Let's go there. Be careful, make sure it doesn't get into your eyes. There are pipes, don't bump your head. Another iron piece is lying here. And there are also some wires. Well, there is some kind of pot below. Our boat is again deflating and it seems Kamrad is getting hysterical. What can we do? He's like that. He threw my flashlight, screams all the time. Well, there is something in the bottom. What is it? I don't know, but be careful, don't get stuck. Well, there's a light ahead and it looks like we can now reach our black storks. There was an unfinished passage. This is not just a passage, but the unfinished turbine hull of the six-power unit. Carefully, guys. Guys, we are drowning. You've been drowned for half an hour and still don't drown. Wow, what's there? I don't know what's there. Well, look, a Walden Transformer 3001 didn't steal it. Comrade, why are you so nervous? Guys, why did you put a cycle with me? It's you who is trumbling all over. Shut up. I'm going to cut your boat with a chainsaw and then for sure you'll drown. There is a pipe and we're just passing on it. I'm telling you, there is a pipe. Everything is fine, I removed it. We're purposely passing through it. What is it, Sus? What are you doing? I don't know. There are some anomalies. Wow, there's a dry area. We have already been there, now we'll go out of here. This is not the place. No? Then where is the exit? I don't know. Has anyone ever sailed under the reactor in a boat? No, you saw that even our chemical protection suit was not taken away for a whole year. Where we left them, we found them there itself. Well, I can't understand why the current carries us there. Are there some turbines or what? Wow, see how deep it's there. Do you know the depth? The step went down. We didn't come here? This is not our entrance? No, it's not our entrance. There are traps, like in computer games. Watch out, don't hit your head. The light is visible. We're sailing somewhere, but where, it's not clear at all. We'll see. Finally, we see some light. There are taps over there. Well, this means that we're going in the right direction. Look, everything is clothed there with different kind of fitments. Like in Stalin's tunnels. What is this sound? Comrade, we want your boat to burst as soon as possible. Are you sure we should go there? Well, there is also a way out over there. Maybe on the contrary here, let's see. Where have you seen the tops? Let's go there and check out. It seems to me that the stores were not here. Can you check on the map where did we see the stocks? Maybe they are on the opposite side. I can't understand anything. We have sailed somewhere. There is a black stork flying. Look! The boat started deflating. See, this is the fourth power unit under the arch. We are very close, now we'll go to the area with the black storks, because they will need to make a passage with the chainsaw. The main thing is that no one hears the noise from the chainsaw. 
Let's hope nobody hears us. Guys, now we're going to assemble the scuba gear because it won't work out this way. We need to go lower. Well, how good it is to stand on a hard floor. Look, I'm all wet and dirty after this boat ride. Now we'll assemble our homemade scuba gear from an aquarium to dive into minus six floor. We rode and looked around the basement and understood that this point is the most suitable one for us. You see, the steps go down one more floor. We took this large aquarium from the Soviet time made of heavy duty thick tempered glass. The pump I think we'll use from the boat because it pumps well. Air will be suppled through these holes so that Zeus has something to breathe underwater. Give me. You don't need it in mouth. Then war in the ass. <laughs> Susa, are you ready to dive in? Yes, but the water is cold and I'm afraid that I'll freeze there. Alex, will you freeze there? No, everything will be fine. Well, I hope so too. I trust you. Let's take the second pump from the boat right away and see if it fits or not. Damn, what's wrong with the pump? I don't know whether it's worth using or not. Well, we'll now check it. Great system. What do you want to do? Fill the hose with air? So someone will pump air to Zeus in the diving suit like that? Of course it's necessary, or else how can he breathe the air? Well, it sounds an insane idea. <laughs> will you go instead of me? No. Alex, have you tried this method yourself? No. So we got all the tape. And fix this hose inside. If it's sticked in correctly, it may come off. This is how oxygen will get to Zeus. We have such a strong rope of 20 meters. Zeus, you won't go further than 20 meters, will you? I don't know, I thought to go at least a kilometer. A weight will be tied to this rope which is needed to compensate for the flotation of the aquarium because there will be air in it. I kind of got it. My mom taught me to knit this way. <laughs> Not funny. Great, now this needs to be fixed in a special way on the aquarium. It should be exactly in the middle. Since the water is very cold, we need to make a right wet suit out of stretch film. Scuba gear with a tape, suit out of stretch film, what an innovation. Imagine if the police come in, they'll be like, what's going on here? That's it, you are ready. Is it okay that he'll walk barefoot through the radioactive ash? No, there is nothing to worry. There will be a thick layer of stretch film on his feet so radiation won't penetrate. I wrap my hands as well. That's it, guys. Zeus is dressed up, touched the camera, and he is almost ready to dive in. The main thing is that the costume fits me perfectly. I'll put on the helmet, to touch a weed, start pumping the air, and sand Zeus under the water. Who will pump the air? There is no point in going down deep yet. With the camera attached, it's a bit difficult to put it on. Carefully, carefully. Yes. Yes, everything is fine. It's so damn funny. I understand that his life depends on my pumping. Alex, the aquarium is fogged up. Damn, what can we do? Speed the air and wipe it. Spit it well. Oh, well, you have to do everything for survival. Well, everything is fine. These are basement technologies. When I say something, is it heard well? Yes, we can hear you well. <laughs> now turn around, we'll attach the same load. We're attaching to weights of 10 kilos each, in total 20 kilos. Pump it! I'm already doing that. Is it okay for you to breathe in it? 
I feel a little hot. Hot? Are you getting the air? Yes. Fine, go down slowly. What to do with the loads? Hold them until the aquarium is submerged. That's it, go to the floor below. How's the water? Not too cold. We didn't think about measuring the radiation here. Walk slowly and go down. See guys, there are steps to minus one more flow. <laughs> well now, so squat down a bit. As soon as the aquarium is submerged, we'll release the wheat. Sus, go very slowly. Take your time. Walk down slowly. Better water will be get in, don't worry, it's normal. Great, everything works. It works, come on, put the camera on him. Wow! You need to be very careful. He's completely immersed under the water. Suze, be careful, you're doing well. Comrade, keep pumping up air. The camera must be filming everything, it's waterproof and shoots really well under the water. It's so cool, it must be an amazing feeling underwater there, it can't be compared to anything, you just need to fill it. While it's interesting state, I can't see anything. The water is really cold, guys. Comrade, pump the ear, his life depends on you. Okay, I'm pumping it. Nothing is visible there. It's okay, come out. Hold my hand. Everything is fine. Take off your helmet. Wait, let me get me one more try. Lift the weights and take off your helmet. Lift both weights. Great, now take off your helmet. How do you feel? We'll just put it on the water. I feel like I'm in another space. When you want to reach the wall, it seems that it's near, but in fact you can't reach it, because it's very far away. You reach for it, but it's not there. You can't see anything around. The water is muddy. Do you feel cold? No, I feel fine. Everything okay? Yes, absolutely. Well, I say that everything will be fine, so we can continue. Just not enough weight to dive into the bottom. Let's hand the weight on your belt. There are some animals at the bottom. Could you go deeper? No, I can't. Is it because of the less weight? Yes. Okay, let's hand the load differently, come out and warm up meanwhile. Seems there like you are in space. Absolutely nothing is clear, you just don't know what to do. Could you see the extension of the tunnel? The stairs go down and then to the side, but the water is muddy and you can't see anything. I found an extra load. Camera, check it for radiation. The load is good in terms of weight. It seems to me that this is what we need. It's just greasing, so it's not radioactive. We'll hand it on your belt. I can take in my hand. Now it's better on the belt. There are so many things on this rector apart from the boat. Carefully, take the camera. The motion is going well. That's it, pump the ear, keep pumping. What happened? Has water got in your helmet? Don't tilt your head forward, the water will not enter. Or tilt your head back so that the water flows out. Help him remove the bowl. Damn, everything came off.
The scotch tape came off and the structure broke. So Slook removed the top part from it and hold it under water somewhere at one meter. If something goes wrong, then just throw it away. Just keep it under water for about a meter, take it. That's it, get down. Yes, like this, and then deeper, under the water, lower, down. Get it under water. Deeper, deeper. Lift it above the water, shake it a little, and then again under the water. Lift it above the water, shake it, and put it under the water again. Well, look at this, guys. <laughs> Raise it up, raise it above the water. This is insane. It was a fire show, hope we won't get burned here. Let's do it again. Hold it under the water. Shit, look at it floats under water. It's looking like a volcanic lava. There is a lot of smoke. Who? Oh. Yes, it's hell of a smoke. So let's get out of there quickly. It was insane, but spectacular. Are you okay? Yes. This youth still keeps you warm, can you imagine? Well, this is just a strange film, and the water is ice cold, really very cold. The film protects from alpha radiations a little bit from better, and of course from the cold. Well, surprisingly, it holds the temperature. Such a thin film, but it keeps you warm. What's about the lower floor and the exit to the fourth block? Nothing. Everything is turbid and nothing is visible. Very poor visibility. I went down almost two floors and couldn't see anything further. So there is a passage, but it's impossible to move along it. I don't know. Maybe there are some very powerful flashlights that illuminate well in turbid water. I know how we'll do it. It will take the chainsaw and cut through the wood block. What do you think? Yeah, we can do that. Your chainsaw is still here from the last time we came here. Yeah, we'll cut the walls. So I suggest to take the chainsaw and keep going. There is still one entrance, but it is the most dangerous and we can be caught there. So we will see it next. Yes, yeah, the most dangerous one.